So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, boss paper questions related to what we did yesterday, okay, which was, uh, so that was finding, uh, uh, sketching the pH curve, okay? so the pH curve, which is an S shaped curve that kind of uh, looks like, looks like this, you need three points. And, uh, and the pH curve, so I'll just comment on, on why the pH curve has this particular shape. It has a very specific shape. So, so it's got a, it's got a, it's got a very specific shape and, uh, and I'll just comment on Okay. I said it's got a it's got a very specific shape. Uh, so so the acid over here was getting neutralized. Initially, it was acidic, right? And then it got neutralized at a specific point at a certain volume of NaOH. The whole acid got neutralized, and that was pH seven. So you were passing around pH seven, and then you added too much of NaOH. Uh, so the solution became basic. So the curve was like this. I just wanted to comment on why it's it's always an S shaped curve. Do you get the reason? So the reason for it being an S-shaped curve is that it is a log graph. pH is log, right? So when you have log, uh, the values, they they change abruptly at a certain point. Uh, they don't change linearly. Like, for example, if you have an acid concentration of, let's say, if the acid concentration is, uh, point, hypothetically speaking, let's say it's 0.1 mole per dm cube. And then at a certain point, you add a certain amount of NOH and half the acid gets neutralized. So the concentration now is 0 0.05. You add more NOH, more of the acid gets neutralized and the amount of H plus one, they decrease. So let's say they become 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. Around the neutralization point, most of the acid will get neutralized. So the, so as you're adding more NOH, here, like over here, Imagine you're adding more and more NOH and the acid over here at the bottom is slowly getting neutralized. So, so here I'm just talking about hypothetical values. I just wanted to explain to you why the pH curve has this particular shape. Instead of, uh, instead of a straight line, why does it have a particular S-shaped curve? So as you add more and more NOH, the acid keeps on getting neutralized. Take the log of this. If you take the log of 0.1, You'll notice that the log of 0 0.1 would be would be one, a negative log of 0 0.1. So that will come out to be one. So I'm just going to write the log value. So this is going to come out to be one. If I take the log of 0 0.05, remember half the acid has been neutralized. You're adding NOH. Half of the acid has been neutralized. So the concentration of H plus one ions has decreased by half. So that's a lot, that's a big amount, like half of the acid has been neutralized. But if I take the log of 0 0.05, the value would come out to be just 1.3. So there's, I mean, from 0 0.1 mole per dm cube to 0 0.05 mole per dm cube, half the acid got neutralized, but the pH is hardly changing. Uh, so the thing is that large decrease in concentration, there's hardly any change in pH. You add more NOH, more of the acid gets neutralized. So you're left with this tiny amount, 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. If you take log of this, and log of point, uh, 0 0.01 will be will be two. So what you'll notice is that the pH is hardly changing. Why does the pH all of a sudden change uh, around the neutralization point? It changes because when you reach the neutralization point, the concentration of the acid decreases to almost zero. So let's say it decreases to around the neutralization point. Let's say the concentration of the acid decreases to 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. Now, if I take the log of this, I'm going to get a big value. Like if I take the log of 0 0.00001, now I'm getting all of a sudden I'm getting five. So what you're seeing over here is the reason it's got an S-shaped curve is that the log behaves that way. Uh, 
initially our, our hypothetical asset concentration was 0.1 mole per team cube. When I added some NOH 0.05 mole per team cube, half of it got neutralized. There was hardly any change in pH. Uh, I added more NOH. 90% of the asset got neutralized uh, from 99% actually 0.1 mole per team cube to 0.01 mole per team cube, but there's hardly any change in pH. But as soon as I go to zero, like most of the asset got neutralized and I keep on going at the neutralization point, the concentration of the asset will go to uh, go to almost zero. So if it goes to almost zero, then you see a very big change in pH. Uh, the log is now giving you five. So that's why most of the log graph will actually change around so, in Hanji. Sir, you have a equivalence point in a like right up there. What's up? straight line half equivalence. Either neutralization point for now. That was the neutralization point. We did this yesterday, right? I, I told you, Abhi, I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, obviously, they're not, they're, they're going to talk about the curve, but they, they won't ask for an explanation. So I just wanted to explain to you why why it is S-shaped. Well, is this idea clear that why it is S-shaped? Yes, sir. Okay, Abhi, is this clear? Sidra, Anna, is this clear? Okay, so, so most of the log graph will actually change around the neutralization point because that's where uh, where the acid or the H plus one concentration will almost go to zero. When it almost goes to goes to zero, taking log of that will give you a big number. So there's going to be a jump over here, and it's going to be almost vertical. So I'll just explain the curve again once more. Okay, we did this yesterday. I told you that you mark three points. One is the first point. That's the starting pH. Okay, that's uh, you had the weak acid. You'll calculate the pH. Then you'll find uh, the equivalence point. The equivalence point is when the acid over here gets completely neutralized. So we calculated that it requires 37.5 cm cube of NOH. So at 37.5 cm cube NOH, the acid will get completely neutralized, and you'll be somewhere around pH seven because everything has gotten neutralized. And overall, we were adding 50 cm cube of NOH. So, so the final pH was actually basic because, because we added 12.5 cm cube of excess NOH. So that made the solution basic. So you had more OH ions and we figured out the pH of those OH ions and that came out to be 12.2. So my, so my final uh, uh, pH was actually basic. So I'll do questions on this. You can just remember it's going to be an S-shaped curve and this part over here will be almost vertical. Most of the pH or the log graph will actually be changing at this point. So let me just quickly. So now the same one. That's a one second. I just some questions related to pH curves. So and they'll ask you to plot those pH curves. Okay. I just said just to give you a heads up, uh, we'll be starting a new topic in the next class. Okay. So we'll we're just doing some past paper questions related to okay. another topic. So we shy now you'll probably not get a lot of things. But I said one second. Um so we'll try and do questions. Uh, one second, let me just find graph. Uh, let you guys find where's, where's a graph. This one we've got a we've got a graph over here. He's asking, huh? Sir, equilibrium is done. No, equilibrium about pH etc. That's done. There's another equilibrium that's left. That's got nothing to do with this one. Okay, there's a. There's a different section of equilibrium that we're going to do. I saw this one. Uh, 
this question was about uh, about ph uh, we already did part of it in this question what he was doing was that he he wanted us to calculate the ph of 0.1 mole per dm cube ethanoic acid which we did already uh give a formula we did h plus one squared and the ph came out to be 2.88 uh that was the starting ph now over here this is this is the question that we this is the kind of question that we already did now we're saying that NOH was slowly added to ethanoic acid. So from the top, from the top, you're adding NOH. And you're saying NOH is slowly or gradually added to. I mean, the question states that it's that it's being added to ethanoic acid. The bottom cube, you've got your ethanoic acid. Now he's adding 20 cm cube of 0 0.1 mole per dm cube uh, NOH uh, in total. That's how many moles? That's two times ten power minus three. Like if you multiply volume with concentration, that's going to be that's going to be two times ten power minus three moles, twenty cm cube. That's the amount of moles of NOH that's that are being added, and they were they're being added to ten cm cube of 0 0.1 mole per dm cube ethanoic acid. So at the bottom you've got you've got one times ten to the power minus three moles of ethanoic acid. Now it's from the readings over here. Uh, we've already done some of the calculations. He asked, uh, "What is your initial pH of ethanoic acid?" Remember, it's a, it's a, it's how many? It's 0.1 mole per dm cube ethanoic acid. This pH we've already calculated. The pH of 0.1 mole per dm cube ethanoic acid. We've already done the working. That's 2.88. So my starting pH right at the beginning is 2.8. It's 2.88. Okay, we, we did the previous part. Um, okay, H plus 1 squared acid. They gave us the K value. They gave us the acid concentration. We were able to figure out H plus 1. And we were able to take the negative log and figure out the pH. So we know the starting pH. And that's 2.88. Uh, to sketch the graph, we need to know the equivalence point at what volume will the remember NOH is adding excess of NOH I mean it clearly is excess why because it should be one ratio one right okay ethanoic acid and NOH they react in one ratio one so one times 10 to the power minus three moles you should only add one times 10 to the power minus three moles you are adding double the amount right so get the volume pay it should have been it should have reached equivalence it should be at 10 cm cube right 10 cm cube should react with 10 cm cube. You are adding double the amount. You don't even have to do moles calculation. It's clearly obvious that you're adding double the amount. So you should not have added double the amount. You should have, you should just have added 10 cm cube, right? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Without even doing moles question, you should know that the equivalence point would have been at 10 cm cube anyway, right? clear as he was this clear, Sean. And he says this clear. Achha, so, so you're adding double the amount. You should not have added double the amount. It's one ratio one. So, so 10 cm cube per calm. You should have added 10 cm cube. So I've I've gotten two points on my graph. The first one, starting pH, that's 2.88. That's somewhere, that's somewhere over here. 2.88. And I know the equivalence point, which is that equivalence will be reached or neutralization will somehow happen at around around 10 cm cube of NOH. 20 is in excess. I mean, all this extra NOH that you're adding, that's that's excess NOH. Now, in the previous part, he's actually asking us to calculate the pH, the final pH. So we, we did some of it, which was that... Uh, 20 cm cube was added. So how much was added in excess? Uh, 1 times 10 per minus 3 moles is added in excess. It's 1 times 10 per minus 3 moles will react with 1 times 10 per minus 3 moles. So 1 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles of excess NOH has been added. Uh, we were able to calculate the concentration of these moles. Uh, moles concentration is moles over volume. The volume of the solution at the end of the entire mixing is that 
20 cm cube from the top is being added to 10 cm cube of ethanoic acid, which is at the bottom. So the so the total volume that you have at the end of the whole mixing is 30 cm cube. So so you do extra moles of OH ions that that's one times 10 power minus 3 moles that's present in 30 cm cube at the end of the mixing because we're trying to find the final pH now. So calculate the OH ion concentration at the end of the addition. So that's that concentration comes out to be 0 0.0333 mole per dm cube, right? Now, now you found the final OH ion concentration. What you could have done is you, you can do two things now. You can either calculate pH, which is the negative log of OH ion concentration, which is, uh, so that will give us if I take the negative log of this, sir, uh, sir, volume is zero point zero three. Actually, volume is it? Both are at the end of the addition. So twenty cm cube. If you mix it with ten cm cube, what is the total volume of the solution at the end? Oh, okay. Okay, thirty cm cube. Okay. So that's that's why so, because he's at the end of the addition. No? So at the end of the addition, the volume will be thirty cm cube. And the OH and moles that will be left at the end, that will be one times 10 power minus three moles. That's the amount that's in excess. I said, so Iska, I can find the pH uh, of 0 0.0. And this comes out to be 1.48. Now, using pOH, I can find the pH, which will be, all I need to do is 14 minus minus uh, 1.48. You get pH is 14 minus pOH. And that gives me 14 minus uh, 1.48. That gives me 12.52. So that's that's one way of finding the final pH. Uh, and we can put that kidney value here. That's 12.52. Uh, so that's 12.52 somewhere over here. You get, that's my last point. Uh, but over here, he's asking you to use not the remember we had two identities dk if you look at the notes there were two ways one was taking the log the other one was not taking the log um, like if you go back this is what we came up with i told you that uh, KW is what? KW is H plus 1 concentration into OHN concentration, and that's 1 times 10 power minus 14. If you take the negative log of both sides, uh, the new identity was pH plus pH is equal to 14. Like Yapen is asking us to, to use this expression. So I'm going to use their expression, the one that they're asking. He says, use this. So I already know the value of KW, which is 1 times 10 power minus 14. And I don't know what the H plus one concentration is, but I know that what the OH ion concentration is, that's 0 0.03. So you'll get the same answer. Um, so if you try to find the H plus one concentration, that's going to come out to be. Okay, I got one times 10 power minus 14, and that's, uh, And then it's 0 0.033. I so said this comes out to be, we double check, it comes out to be 3 times 10 power minus 13 mole per dm cube. And now I can calculate the pH this way as well. I can take the log at the end. So if I take the negative log of 3 times 10 power minus 13, that I guess will give me the same answer, hopefully. So it's called log low, uh, that's 3 times 10 power minus 13. So 12.52. So I'm getting 12.52 again. Right? So just remember, okay, these two formulas are kind of the same thing. It's uh, you either take pH plus pH is equal to 14 or or H plus 1, OH minus 1, that's equal to 1 times 10 power minus 14. Both of these are, are exactly the same thing. TK, is that clear? Sir, I find something. No, no, same. It's gonna, it's gonna, the only thing is that I took log earlier over here. I'm taking the log at the end. But so it's either this one or it's pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Both of them are exactly the same. 
as anyways you've you've got you've you have your three points now so what would the curve actually look like remember it's going to be vertical at the middle okay it's almost going to be vertical and this just a very gradual increase yahan pe bhi na there's just going to be a there's going to be a very slight gradient theek okay? hai maybe for of one ps that set so most of the ph curve will will actually change around the equivalence point which is the neutralization point that's going to be over here do you clear we've sketched the curve is that clear yes and based on this they also also uh, acha what was the point where we should have stopped we should have stopped at 10 kyunki usse aage jo tha na that was being added in excess any which was being added in excess so how do we stop at 10 uh you use indicators to stop at 10 you need an indicator that should change around somewhere over here you need an indicator that will change color at this point when you're passing through these ph if the indicator changes color at let's say ph 2.88 we don't need that one we need a we need an indicator that changes uh, color in these ph values so which one is the best indicator ठीक है, आई थिंक इट्स द लास्ट वन टू टेन राइट दिस इज एट नाइन इज दिस टेन इज दिस सो सो दिस इंडिकेटर वे है द लास्ट वन ठीक है दैट इज दैट इज गोइंग टू चेंज पी एच वेन यू पास थ्रू दिस इसको क्रॉस करोगे ना इट्स गोइंग टू चेंज कलर सो यू गोन स्टॉप एट टेन दी अदर वन वॉन्ट बिकॉज थ्री टू फोर के बीच में सो इट माइट स्टॉप सम इन द मिडल ओवे है so you don't want that so 9 to 10 is probably the best one you don't have to remember the indicator colors just remember they'll give you they'll give you the indicator and their values at which they change color theek okay? hai so you just have to choose between them otherwise you don't have to actually remember them is that clear yes sir i'll find another question about uh, sketching the ph curve this this is another one uh Yep, this one. Now over here he's saying that twenty uh, cm cube or point one mole per cm cube eight cl. So you're adding eight cl from the top. Or how much? That's twenty cm cube, and you've got zero point one mole per cm cube. That is being added from the top, and at the bottom he's saying there's piperidine. You get no idea what piperidine is. I'll just we just have to check the probably a base. It's probably a base. So there's there's piperidine at the bottom, and they've told us that it's a ten cm cube, and it's zero point one five zero mole per cm cube. As a first thing, let's uh, have a look at piperidine. Uh, what did he, what did the question talk about piperidine? He's already told us that piperidine is a base. It's got a pH of eleven point nine. They've already told us the pH, so so that makes things easy. And the point one five mole per cm cube piperidine has a pH of eleven point nine. This is it's it's a base. So our piperidine is point one five mole per cm cube. So that means our starting pH is actually eleven point nine. ठीक है, so my graph will start at eleven point nine. ठीक है, so when no HCl is added, the pH is eleven point nine. तो ये क्या है? Thirteen, twelve, eleven, eleven point nine. समय हो गया है. ठीक है, that's my starting pH. Right? अच्छा, now I need to find. Uh, अच्छा, now they haven't asked this, but I mean they they never actually talk about the equivalence point, but We need to find the equivalence point. Like, at what point of HCl will the piperidine get neutralized? So, I need to know okay, what's the ratio of HCl to piperidine as well. Maybe can you tell me? Okay, it's uh, so since you have, you haven't done organic chemistry, uh, I mean, you already know that N has a lone pair, right? So, N lone pair accepts one H plus one, so it's one ratio one. I mean, that H plus one will come from HCl. 
So if you know about data bonding, it's uh, n as a lone pair, it accepts an H plus one. There's only one n over here. So it's one ratio one. Piperidine will react with just one HCl. It's just like ammonia. Okay, we'll compare with it, but that's organic. So anyways, it's one ratio one. So we need to find out how many moles of piperidine do we have. We've got uh, 10 cm cube. And the concentration is 0.15 mole per dm cube. So, kya hoga? moles concentration times volume. That's kya value, I guess. Kya kisi ne calculated? Siddha, Ella, Alicia, anyone? How many moles is this? Sir, what are you saying? How many moles are there? How many moles are there? Is it just confirm 1.5 times, times 10 power minus 3 moles? But 10 divided by 1000 into 0.15. So I think that's that's the number. Sir, 0.001. Okay, 10 power minus 3. I say anyways. So I wanted to know, okay, now remember, it's clearly obvious that you're adding uh, too much of HCl. It's one ratio one. So, so you're adding excess of HCl. I mean, you're, you're adding from the top, it's two times 10 power minus three moles, right? So you're, you're adding it in excess. I want to find the equivalence point. Now for the equivalence point, when the pipidine gets completely neutralized, I should add 1.5 times 10 power minus three moles, right? So, how much volume will be that? Moles is concentration times volume. The concentration is 0.1 mole per dm cube and the volume, I need to find the volume. So, for complete neutralization, 1.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles, I should add 1.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles from the top. So, the volume, I think, will come out to be 15 cm cube, right? But they kill like 1.5 divided by 0.1. That's uh, the answer will be in dm cube, and probably that will come out to be 15 cm cube. Can you confirm that's 15 cm cube? But you could check like is this 15 cm cube or not? I mean that basically. I says that basically means at 15 cm cube of HCl the piperidine will get neutralized. Okay, so it will be somewhere around pH 7. Okay, so this is, he's adding more of it. So he's saying calculate the number of moles of HCl. So how much HCl did you add in excess? So uh, the bottom you had 1.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles. From the top, you're actually adding 2 times 10 power minus 3 moles. Right? But the reaction only will use 1.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles. So how much is how many moles are in excess? That's uh, what difference they call. That's going to be 0 0.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles of each here. That's in excess. Because the total moles that you're adding, that's 2 times 10 power minus 3. You just need 1.5 times 10 power minus 3. So n mina, these are the moles that will be remaining at the end of the titration. And he's saying, hence calculate the H plus one concentration. Now, I need to find the concentration. Uh, concentration is moles over volume. So concentration is, I know the moles of H plus one, right? I need to find the volume as well at the end. The moles, Joanna, that's 0 0.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles. What is the volume at the end? Uh, you're adding 20 cm cube from the top. There's 10 cm cube at the bottom already. So the volume is 30 cm cube or 0 0.03 decimeter cube. So I'm going to get uh, the concentration. So what is your concentration? It's uh, I see the HCl moles are excess, right? Okay. How many moles are we adding? 2 times 10 power minus 3, right? Bottom way, you've got 1.5 times 10 power minus 3 moles of pepperidine. 
out of two types of mycin moles, only 1.5 times of mycin moles are reacting, right? So, the rest of that's an excess. You're adding ex extra moles. So, the two difference is that that's the extra moles that you're adding. Zero, zero point zero one six seven. See, be clear. The yellow part clear, Saroko. So, anyways, we found we found the H, and we need to find the pH as well. So, I would need to take the negative log of this, and that will give me. The negative log. So one point seven seven eight. Seven eight kind of thing. So, so you're getting one point seven eight. That's your final pH. So it's uh it's one point seven eight. Okay, so this is where you added excess eight here. Okay, so so I'm going to repeat everything. Starting pH of piperidine was already given or quoted in the question. So earlier, you already told us that 0.15 mole per dm cube has a pH of this. So that was already given. Uh, based on the number of moles, I figured out that only 15 cm cube of uh, HCl is required. Uh, at the bottom, you have 1.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles. So at the top, you just need 1.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles for equivalence or for neutralization. So, we volume So, you just needed 15 CMQ. You didn't need 20 CMQ. Which 5 CMQ extra, that was an excess. Uh, and that contained 0.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles of HCl that was added in excess. So, at the end of the day, this is the HCl that will still be remaining in the reaction mixture. And I found out the concentration of this HCl. And I, the total volume of the entire mixture at the end, that's going to be 30 CMQ. So I found the new concentration and I was able to figure out the pH. Now this is the same curve. It's going to be an S-shaped curve, but it's going to be in the opposite direction. Remember, okay, around equivalence point, it's almost going to be, it's almost going to be vertical. Okay, so it's almost going to be vertical. Either it's going to be slightly, there's going to be a slight gradual gradual decrease or yeah there's going to be so that's about it and it has to be a rough sketch you can just remember that the vertical part would be like really big you guess this clear the edge curve Or how uh, oh, okay, pH hmm. Sir, 15 has an equivalence point. Okay, get them all the piperidine get that was 1.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles, right? Yes, so, so equivalence kill any neutralization kill you needed upper secondary HL at 1.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles, right? Yes, so many volume Nicolia. This volume ignore kiya na, 20 cm cube to zyada tha na, I, I ignored that. I said ke moles is concentration times volume, right? So 1.5 times 10 per minus 3 moles, concentration is key point 1. Hai. So kitna volume over? I found out that it's 15 cm cube. Yani I, should, I should not have added 20 cm cube, I should just have added 15 cm cube for equivalence. Clear it? Yes. And then 5 cm cube extra, dal, dal na, wo phir, uh, yeah, so total moles the Kali, they were five CMQ, make some moles the Kalo Kitanga. The extra moles done there. That's five into point one divided by thousand. That so you were excess moles. I said, well, finally, we have to, we have to uh, choose the indicator. They didn't give us any names. Which indicator is the best for this one? What's our best over? Out of all of these, remember the pH. The indicator should change color somewhere at these pH values. Yeah, it should change color. C, I'm not really sure. C is 11 to 12, so 
So C will never actually change color. It's because uh, 11 to 12, Jenna, that's somewhere over here. So it might change color somewhere at this point. I don't want, I want to stop at 15, right? I mean, that's the equivalence point. So B, three to four. Three is here, four is here. So either three to four, that's three, three to four. If it changes color at three to four, I'll stop at 15. Uh, zero to one, galata ki zero to one. I'm, I'm never actually going to go to zero to one. But it's chaga to kabi bini aara pH. So it's never going to change color. Uh, eleven to twelve, ka issue hai ke eleven to twelve is in these two, between these two lines. So it might change color over here. It might change color at this point. So we're not sure about eleven to twelve. Thirteen to fourteen, vaisi galata ki you're you're never actually getting thirteen to fourteen pH. The last one, it's not going to change color. So three to four is the is the right. Sir, I'm a pH 1.78. So, sir, related rocky, which is three to four, is how can I guess it? No, no, I am just guessing. This is 1.78. The starting pH was 11.9. Okay. I have stopped at 15. I have stopped because in the next HCl, which is added, that's an excess, right? Yes, sir. So the point is, I want to stop at this point. This is a vertical line. I want to stop at this point. Anywhere at this point, I want to stop at 15. So 1.78, I don't stop at 1.78. I mean, 1.78 is the wrong number. If I stop at 1.78, it means that I have added more. Do you understand the point? Yes, sir. Okay, so I have stopped at 11.9. I don't stop here. I have stopped at this point. I want to stop my titration at this point. So the indicator should change color in in pH values, man. ठीक है, clear है? Yes. So so that's why three to four is fine. ठीक है, मतलब ये clear कर लो क्या? मतलब I don't want to stop anywhere near one point seven eight. अगर मैं one point seven eight के करीब जाके रोक रहा हूँ ना, तो उसका मतलब मेरी titration गलत हो गई है. क्या है? I've already added too much H here. अगर मैं 11 के करीब रोक रहा हूँ, that means the base is still present. It it did not get neutralized. ठीक है. Neutralization यहाँ पे हो रही है. So I want to stop at this point or anywhere along this line. Okay. अच्छा क्या इसी तरह का ना maybe there's a of kind of exit. I said the curve is already made for you. One second. Sir? Um, sir, in uh, equilibrium, there are uh, organic related questions. Yes, they are. They are not organic. Just one second. I so said, there's this. Huh? I so said, there's another one. You've got, to, you've got to sketch. I mean, they didn't give a graph, but you have to sketch the curve. So, uh, we can try quickly that. Um, so G, G, I think is a is a base. I said G ke pasa, I mean it's it is kind of organic related, but I'll I'll just do this quickly. G has two ends, right? So that means uh, the ratio will be one ratio two H scales, right? Because one H plus one will go and uh, neutralize the NH two, and uh, the other one will neutralize the other NH two, right? Or sekawa, it's two successive acid base reaction taking place. Now the question is that 0.1 mole per team solution G has a pH of 11.3. And or second two equations for these two acid base reactions, you can make them up. Uh, if first H person goes and reacts with this one, uh, so we can, we can write that down. Okay, CH2, CH2, CH2. And NH2 and the HCl H plus one goes. This R like the thing each man. And it binds with one of the ends. Or plus Cl minus one alagojata. And then uh, there's another acid base reaction, which is that the R is the carbon chain in the middle. You have, you've got your NH2. One of the N has been neutralized already. Now there's another HCl that's coming in. 
it's going to react with the other end and get attracted to its lone pair and this is already NST plus one. The other one will also become NST plus one. Now we're seeing that there are two acid-base reactions that happen. First one and then the second one. So 0.1 mole per dm cube solution of G has a pH of 11.3. So this has a pH of 11.3 somewhere over here. When 30 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube HCl is added, uh, 10 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube solution G, the final pH is 1.6. Use the following axis, sketch the pH changes that occur during this addition of HCl. So, those the final value. He's already told you the final value. Uh, how much HCl was actually added? 30 cm cube, right? So, the 30 cm cube pH HCl add where uh, the final pH is 1.6. So, the final pH is somewhere over here. Now, we need to, what we need to do is we need to find uh, the neutralization point. At what point? Uh, during the addition, did the acid get completely neutralized? Sorry, the base got completely neutralized. Or excess by add kara, kini add kara. So, so I need to find this is G and there's two HCl reacting with it. Tigre just trying to do this quickly. Tigre, remember, this is G and there's two HCls reacting with it. How many moles of G do we have? We've got uh, 10 cmq or 0.1 mole per dmq. So that's 1 times 10 for minus 3 moles. Um, theoretically, 2 times 10 for minus 3 moles of HCl should have been added, right? But how many moles are we actually adding HCl? Uh, we're adding 3 times 10 for minus 3. That's more than the required amount. So, what did HCl add for neutralization? Like, should I, have, should I have added 30 cmq or should I just have added 20 cmq? 20 cmq is neutralized. Is this point clear that at 20 cmq, the acid 20. Would have, right? it, should have, it would have neutralized at 20, right? So, I should have added just 20. So, 20 cupana, it should have neutralized. That means the equivalence is at 20. I mean, it's clearly obvious that 30 was an excess. Aapkosif 2 times 10 per minus 3 moles sayetha, so you should have added 20. At 20, it would have neutralized. So, there's going to be a vertical line at, there's going to be a vertical line at 20. And the graph would kind of, would just sketch over that would be kind of like this. Is that clear? Or two marks, they, yes, they, gave, they gave us pretty much everything for the sticker, so it was around two marks. Iske uh, baare there's some extra stuff. Uh, I'll probably just briefly discuss that in the next class. I mean, this question. Uh, double acid-base reactions are no longer really in your course. Tika, it's an old question. So I guess this would be sufficient for now. I mean, you don't have to go into details about this, but uh, this should be sufficient. Um, Okay, well, 20 pay, it was reaching equivalence. Was your extra 10 add when that made the things acidic and it became 1.6. So you just had to, I think, for two marks, you just had to find the equivalence point. Like at what point it got neutralized. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So Shahid Magdi Shahman, I'll I'll probably discuss for five minutes this question. Sir? Uh, sir, in next class, I have said that next class, a new chapter started to come. chapter will It will be equilibria, but it will be nothing to do with acid and bases. So, yeah. Okay, sir. So, there's there's two more equilibria. There's, 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 there's other equilibrium costumes, but they've got nothing to do with acids and bases. So, we'll we'll do the, we'll do those in the next class. Okay. But okay, next week, then we'll do, uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, one is KSP solubility product. Nothing to do with it. We have pH wagara subkush that's finished. Okay? The other one is uh sir. Uh, uh sir, we say jo uh equilibrium ke jo topics hai na. Uske na sir, apke paas start to finish apke paas sare recorded lectures hai YouTube pe ya ab upload karenge iske baad. Ah, we put lectures hai na. Isme main bhej deta hu na. Wo maine group pe folder share kiya hai na. Lekin main bhej deta hu. Ye main phir se file share kar raha hu. Okay. Wo main bhej deta hu. Mujhe WhatsApp pe bhejo na. Main bhej deta hu. Okay.
वो अब ऑटो पे वो एक्चुअली अभी अभी ना वो सारी फाइल्स ना वो मैंने बनाई है सारी उसके ऊपर डाल दिए तो अभी मैं भेज भी सकता हूँ पहले होता है कि वो अपलोड नहीं हुई होती लेकिन अभी वो अपलोड हुई हुई है ठीक है तो वो मैं भेज देता हूँ ठीक है फॉरन ही चले ठीक है हम सर सर 